everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at a brand new product for your FSC today, your First Strike Compact Pistol. This is the FSC Folding Stock. So if you needed something to help lengthen that gun out a little bit more, you wanted a shoulder rest for it or something, they have got you covered. Now this is a gas through stock, so you will use a remote line, hook it up to the back, and then run your gas through that. Uh, seeing as though it is a remote line setup, we will be installing something into the gun which will not allow you to use the co2 in your magazines anymore so if you're going to go this route you will need to run it remote line setup on there so let's go we're going to take our pistol out that's really all we need out of this box we don't need any of the other stuff that's inside there we're going to get this set up really quick to do the install on it. Uh, we don't need the magazine, so we can pop that out, set that over there to the side a little bit. We don't need the barrel in there at the moment. We can take that out, put that there, bolt spring, we can take that out. Just kind of get rid of everything we don't need at the moment and then we can pull the rest of the frame off of here. Now, um, I don't need that either. That's the inside of the manual stuff for the FSC. You do get a couple parts and we'll talk about what they are before we install them. So you're gonna get three screws. That's our, those are going to attach the stock to the back of the marker. Your blanking valve, so this valve pin does not have a hole in it. It is solid. And we're going to put that up in here. Typically, this piece right here would push against the valve in your magazine and it'll release the gas coming out of your CO2 cartridge. It's still going to push the valve down inside of there, but you can see it has no hole. So if you had a CO2 cartridge in here, air could not get up and out of it. So that's what this is for. We have an O-ring here that we are going to replace on the reg assembly, and then a tiny O-ring and set screw, which allows us to have air transfer through this bottom right port down here. So the instruction manual is lacking in a couple of things where it tells you what to do. Um, so I'm gonna just, just put this in and you can follow along with it and we can go from there. Uh, one of the main things that it does not tell you to do uh, as many times as I've um, looked over this is to actually remove the screws that are in these three holes as well. We're going to remove the screw out of here and put this one in that is uh, hollow so that the air can pass through it and it will hold this o-ring in place but there are three more screws one in each of these holes that if you don't remove them, you can't thread these in far enough to hold the stock in place. So we will need to pull those screws out as well and then just set them to the side. But first things first, let's get the gun separated from its frame. We're gonna need these two right here. We're gonna pull the rear frame screw off. front frame screw, and then the two side screws. There, and from here. Once they're out, that will allow us to separate the frame from the body right there. We can just set that to the side. Now, first things first, we are going to, uh, let's, I don't know, what should we do here? Let's change this out real quick. So I've got just a very small adjustable wrench. I'm going to remove this pin out of here. And you can see I didn't take, it didn't take me a lot of force to get that off. You want to do the same thing when you put this one on. You don't want to overdo it. You do not want to break these threads off inside of here. So we're just going to put it down there. And if for some reason 
this does not have an o-ring on it from your bag of parts you need to take the o-ring off of this one and put it onto this one but all the bags that i've seen so far have that o-ring on there but if it doesn't just look for that and then i'm just going to give it a little snug and that's it i'm not going to overdo it next we're going to pull the reg assembly off of here now on the underside there is one o-ring that has a hole in it and there's one o-ring that is solid we want to take the solid o-ring out and we are going to replace it with the hold o-ring that they provide for us whoops it popped right out on me like that make sure that sits right in place at this point we are done with the reg assembly and we can go ahead and put it back on but we do need to set this up properly before we put this together now this part is in the manual it does say make sure the bolt is in the forward position before reinstalling the regulator back onto the body but this is what that looks like we're going to take our bolt and we're going to slide it forward then we can take our body or our reg assembly here and put it back on and we're just going to leave it like that until we come to reassemble everything now you can see me kind of tilting this around i'm just making sure that the reg assembly the reg body and everything the trigger grouping is sitting flush against there so it's not uh, off angle or anything or not making good contact all the way around and just tighten that down and this we're going to leave this section just like that we're not going to put the spring back in and we are not going to put the bolt back in with the uh, barrel sorry we're going to leave it just like this with the bolt in the forward position now here we can work on the back side so we're going to remove these three top right top left and bottom left top right Top left and this allows us to then install the other screws in just a second so those three are coming out like that now the bottom right one we do need to pull out as well in its place we're going to take the one that is provided for us and you can see that it is hollow right there so we're going to put this into this bottom right hole and recess it just enough to where this little o-ring can kind of fit down in there if the screw is sticking out too far it won't let this o-ring seal up properly when it's uh when this goes to like sandwich against it if this is too far down it can allow this o-ring to collapse down into the hole and potentially block the hole and not let any gas through so it is kind of a little trial and error of how you want to set this up or how you need to set this up i put it in so it's just under flush and that's going to allow me to get that o-ring kind of right in there and not collapse down out of the way um, then we're going to go ahead and put this on here. I'm going to set this down just in case I haven't missed anything. I'm going to look over it real quick before we go ahead and throw this on. All right, it looks to, to me like I've got everything on there. We might run into something, but I've only got this O-ring left and these three screws, so we should be in good shape. I'm going to put that there. It's looking good. Now I'm going to take my uh, stock assembly and I'm going to just drop it on there. You can see that it's cut out so that it should fit right down on there and it shouldn't really wobble around or anything like that. All right. I'm kind of holding it in place. I'm going to put my screws in. there turn this 
around a little bit. Put that one in there, and then this one on the bottom. All right, now if you run into a problem where this is kind of in the way right here, I can't really get my Allen key in there and give it a good snug, even though I'm using a ball head Allen key here, uh, I can remove this off of here. So I'm gonna do that real quick, just so I can make sure everything is tight. I'm gonna take this set or this uh, screw out. It's going to allow me to lift this up and out of the way. And then I can come back here Tighten that up, tighten that up, and tighten that up. Now I can come back, drop that in, put that on there, put that back down all the way, give that a little snug, and now I'm ready to assemble my frame back onto my gun. Remember, don't lose these parts right here, just in case you want to go back you're going to need all of these parts to put it back together again. So we're going to drop our frame on. We do our two frame screws. We do our two side ones. Oops, that needs that one. So that's back on now. We can go ahead and put our spring back in. And when we put our uh, barrel back in right now, we're kind of going to hear it cock. It's going to you're going to hear it snap together. And this positions the bolt onto the sear assembly properly so that everything is is where it should be. I can't get it cuz my finger doesn't work that way. There we go. Here kind of go click back inside there. And then we are ready to rock here. So now we've got this in nice shoulder support there. If we wanted to collapse it, you can just lift that up, bring it over there, and it collapses down to that perfectly on side. Still, you can even hold on to this and shoot it like this. Pew, 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 if you want to. Now, if you are wanting it to be the other way around, you can do that as well. If you want this to fold this way, you can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this screw out. So this is the front one right here. And you saw me do this earlier. We're going to flip this over and put it on the other way. Then, lo and behold, we're going to take this one and undo this. This was the rear one now. This will allow us to pull this off. Might need a little, little tappy tap. Like that. And then we can flip this over and put it back on here. Tighten that down. And now folds the other way. So if you are a left-handed player or a right-handed player, you can set this stock up to accommodate either, either one of your weirdnesses. So here it is installed, very simple gas through setup right here. The install is not very hard. You do need a couple more steps than what they put inside there, but you would figure that out when you realize that you couldn't put the screws in. Um, don't forget to save your extra pieces in, ever, in case you ever wanna convert it back. But FSC folding stock install, the stocks are available through the website. So if you have one of these and you're looking for something with a little bit more support, pick one of these up. Uh, First Strike Compact Folding Stock, Gas Through Folding Stock, available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.